So I'm going to just start out by making a polygon plane. Scale that up. Um, if you go polygon and then mesh, sculpt geometry tool, I have it in my shelf. And what's cool, if it's in the shelf, you can double click. Actually, first I'm going to increase the inputs. Let's say do 30 and 30, just like that. Double click on this. Um, opacity looks good. Let's see, you can just sort of move this around a bit and kind of make some sort of terrain. Now what we want to do over here, you can make the object live so you can actually draw curves on it. I'm going to space and I find you kind of want to go along the points um, because I can show you um, I'm going to use probably EP curve tool if you do a way out um, well that's actually not working too bad maybe I'll just keep those if it's too bumpy it draws between one and the other and you can see you kind of get this effect um, so it works better, I find, if yeah, you try try to keep them pretty close together if you can. It'll be less sort of eaten up by the terrain since it's making shorter connections sort of between the vertices. Um, anyway, finish that, and I'm going to turn off the Make Live so we have that curve now. Now I'm going to go Create, Polygon Primitive, let's make a sphere. And we can kind of sculpt that just a little bit. Um, move it in and move a couple parts sort of out. All right. So now what we want to do um, is it's easiest to select this and then select it here. Um, and then we're going to go over to our animation, animate motion path attach to motion path and then here you want to set the length I think 100 looks pretty good then when you attach it starts it at the beginning and will play along but it's going it's not rotating at all and it's going through um, now to get it to move above if you mess with the pivot point um, hitting the insert key or the home key on a Mac um, you can move it up so because it's going to move along the pivot so if you make that the very bottom it'll move along there which works alright um, but then like we're going to add rotation to this and that doesn't work so well since it's flipping around on it um, so what we can do is just go here and move that up to about right there now it'll better move along the path on top of your terrain. Now what we can do if we click on the object, go to our attribute editor, then go motion path, it's on follow. If we do front twist, we can set a key. Let me go forward and maybe I don't know, make that fifteen hundred and set another key. Now we can see it rotates along like that. And if it's not moving the exact way we want I find for something like that, um, scene up, you can mess with them, works a bit better. Um, really depends on your motion curve, um, and you can tweak those and mess with it. What's kind of cool with this live, um, you can even you know, affect the shape of it, and it will still follow that curve all the way along. So yeah, just tweaking and getting it the way you want. Um, now I'm going to go to another application of this, keying the twist and stuff. That's pretty cool. We're going to create sort of a chain link. Um, so I'm going to make a torus. Actually, I think I want a polygon torus. Polygon primitives. Torus. I'm just going to go to the options box, and I think I want the radius to be point three um, there we go I think I'll um, add in one of these so it's 21 I'll show you why in one second um, or actually 22 well it's not <laughs> of the utmost important but I'm gonna select all these faces it just makes it a little smoother when I do this um, 
grab those and move those out. You can see it's kind of a chain link thing. I'm going to go to my four view. I'm moving with the option and left click to kind of pan around. I'm going to scale this down quite a bit. Then I'm going to, let's just do CV curve and you can make it any shape you want. Generally it's best to draw kind of in your side views. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, I just had that set to one from drawing straight lines, so let's just make it a straight curve. You can always edit this, um, scale it down and stuff like that. Anyways, now I'm going to go animate motion path, attach to motion path. I think 100 will do fine. Um, you can see it's created this as the start, and it's facing the way we want it to face. Um, if it wasn't, um, like when I had it before and it gave me trouble, um, you just want to have what's facing forward, so it's the z-axis, and that's the one that we want. If the curve was drawn another way, maybe we want the x-axis facing forward, and we want the y up, so I have this here. Um, another handy trip, um, RGB is XYZ. You can see that these line up, so that can be a way of seeing what axis it's going towards. Anyways, now, yeah, let's have some front twist. Um, and we kind of want to look how it's spaced out. Now what we can do, because we want it, it's going to be a chain like we're going to turn this into geometry. These look a little close, so there's two things I can do. One is you can mess with the chain, and that'll affect how far it's moving. If you decide you don't want it to be 100, Here's a pretty cool trick. It can be, I find it can be kind of hard, difficult to select sometimes. Um, but um, yeah, here I selected the 100 position shape marker. Here's the time. So if we set this to 200, suddenly it's a 200 second animation. And now once, once we get to 100, it should only be halfway there. So that's really handy. I mean, you can go back and change that, but that that's a way to set the end time to whatever you want. You can also tweak it with scaling, and I mean, you can move around the CV curves, so really get it um, the length you want, and you want to kind of set it up right before you do the next step or two. So I'm just going to go a frame or two more. Let's just make this a little bit longer. Well, we'll see, that's, that'll have to do. Um, so anyway, um, we go in here, motion path, um, set it to the start, front twist, key that at zero. At 100, we want it rotating 90 every frame, so let's do 9,000 and set a key for that. Now you can see as we go through, it's rotating every time and it'll be exactly up just like that um, so now we can go to create animation snapshot um, and make sure we have the right time um, oops. create animation snapshot and let's do snapshot um, click on this <laughs> snapshot and it'll take a little bit to generate all these but hopefully when it works and you probably want to tweak you know and they might not link up perfectly since this is obviously a quick tutorial but it'll definitely get you the idea um, and look we have a chain link fence that goes all the way and you know we can edit the curve points, um, we can move it around, it is pretty cool. And if you select all the points, um, you can do that with outline, or you can actually add <laughs> views to your tabs like I did here. You can do snapshot groups, select the whole group, and then when you delete your history, that is all separate geometry now that you've created based on this.